Hello everybody, my name's Liz, I'm the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. So today's video is going to be my So Haley Jane unboxing. That tends to be my ritual. I was very excited to come home tonight after work. Um, it's a little bit rainy and a little bit grey. It's a real autumnal day in London. Um, so it was quite a nice surprise to have my box waiting for me. Um, so my ritual tends to be filming the unboxing. I really like that surprise of not knowing what's in there and going through the box for you guys. Um, before I get started, I am wearing something that I made in one of the So Hilly Jane fabrics uh, from ages ago, and it's this amazing reversible denim. So I'll stand up so you can see. It's got um, like tartan on the inside. Um, yes, like that. And then it's got like rips in the denim, so you can see the tartan. Um, and you can just about see it on the on the sleeve where I've turned it up. And this is another um, Our Lady of Leisure Gimlet boiler suit, which I absolutely love. And it's perfect for today's autumnal weather. If the light's a bit dark, it is um, in the evening. I have got a light on to try and help and I've got my lamp on over here as well. So I do hope it's okay for you. Um, but I can't wait. Like, it's Monday and I'm filming this, but I wouldn't be able to wait until the weekend when the light is better during the day to open the box. Um, so I do hope that's okay. So let's open it up. I'm very, very excited. Um, if you haven't seen, I have published a vlog where I share everything that I've made using fabric from Sir Hilly Jane. Um, so I'll pop a link down below to that if you haven't checked that video out already. I've sewn up, I think it, I worked it out, it's like 24 of the boxes I've sewn up into garments that I wear and they're on a regular cycle in my wardrobe, including this boiler suit. I just love it. It's so comfortable. So, um, it always comes in tissue like this. Um, I think I can see a sneak peek with the magazine. It looks like it's got some kind of autumnal theme. I absolutely love, ooh, I love everything. It looks amazing. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you. But that's the whole box. So it looks like it's got an autumn theme. So we'll have a quick look at the magazine. I won't flick through the whole thing, but it is called Autumn Hues and it's the October version, number 23. There's always a lovely little um, message from Hayley. So I look forward to reading that later. And I've spied what the sweet treats are. The sweet treat in this month's box is one of my favourites. Um, where there's original, I'm really looking forward to eating those. It's making my tummy rumble. Uh, there's an interview with Glitter Magic who created this gorgeous, super cute Autumn Vibes pin. It's really cute. Uh, so there's an interview there um, and she is, it's Lauren and she's Glitter Magic underscore UK. So I'm definitely going to go and check them out on Instagram. Make of the month is Lorna who used the Coral Viscose Twill from the August Classic box to make a kilo and it's beautiful love that and she is all about the sew over on instagram so i'm going to go make sure i give her a follow then there's three boxes three outfits so there's Gemma, laura and esther and they've received the three boxes and they share their creations uh, and on the other page i just love everything that they make which is fabulous and there's another one then we've got profile angela um who has been subscribed to the classic box for a couple of months I love Angela. I follow her over on Instagram, Devon Thread Tales. She's got a great personality. I look forward to reading that properly later. Um, and then we've got the Fold Line Girls who have got pattern picks. Um, so the Sophia Dress by Victory Patterns, Florence Dress and Top by Merchant and Mills, and then um, Passion Blouse by Atelier Scamit. Uh, then we've got New Launch for the Selkie Ladies. So I've been seeing lots on Instagram all about their new launch. Um, the table. I'm really excited about that. Then we've got Haley's Little Links and then a lovely um, game by Amy, which I really enjoy doing. And then Insta Watch, where there's lots of different people in all of their makes from Instagram. So we've got Notions of a Dressmaker who made an incredible Tamsin dress. Then we've got Rebecca who used last month's classic box to make um, a wardrobe by me wonder dress and it's so beautiful. Then we've got So Happy Times Rachel, who used both the fabric and the pattern from the August Luxury Box to make the Sew It Marguerite dress, which is really beautiful. And she used the border print to help with that. And we've got Rach sewing. So Rachel made, a, um, she used the viscose jersey to make a short kilo. 
And then we've got Amanda who made two things using the cotton sateen from the luxury box. So Tilly and the Buttons Bateen dress, beautiful. I love that. And I look forward to reading that properly a little bit later with a cup of tea. So I've already shown you the badge. It's a really cute autumn badge. I really love that. Love autumn, it's my favorite time of the year. Then we've got some gorgeous buttons. They're sort of like a really lovely autumnal color. They're really pretty and they're sort of pearlescent as well. I love getting buttons. It's just handy to have some in your stash. I've already shared the sweet treat of where there's original or three. There's some thread which gives you a clue about what the fabric's gonna look like. And then the fat quarters look amazing. They're so beautiful. So we've got this one. They've got like, it's got gold all over it as well. Gold around the edges of the flowers. It's pretty. Uh, and we've got this one which is really pretty. This one looks almost oriental with the reds and the golds. It's really beautiful. And then we've got this lovely purple one, which again is really pretty. They've all got the accents of gold, which I think makes them all match because they're all quite different colorways, but because they've all got the gold, they sort of go together. And then on to this month's fabrics. And the fabric for this month is this beautiful double gauze. Now I don't know what color you would call that, it's it's it reminds me of chocolate you know when you've melted chocolate to make like brownies or a cake or something it reminds me of that color of milk chocolate when it's been melted i don't know if you can see it properly and then it's got these they look like um dandelions or daisies so i subscribe to the classic box so i get two and a half meters of this um i'm not quite sure what to make with it to be honest um i really love it i i find double gauze difficult fabric to know what to make I've got a couple of garments in my wardrobe where I've made, um, I've got a couple of garments in my wardrobe which I've sewn up with double gauze and they are both the Kokowawa Crafts plum dress which I think really suits a double gauze. I'm not sure what to make with this. Um, yeah, I'll have to have a little think. There's loads there. Let's open it up so you can see. <clears throat> it's quite weighty which makes it really good um, fabric for autumn. Yeah, I'm not sure about the colour close to my face. So this might end up being some kind of trousers and I'm holding it upside down. That doesn't help. Um, yeah, I think it might become some kind of trousers. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, if you've got any ideas for me, let me know down below. It's beautiful. I just find, I find double gauze a tricky fabric to pattern match. I'll have to see what they suggest, what the fold line suggest um, in the magazine. I'll have a proper look at it later. Um, and maybe have a look on Instagram. Sometimes if I've got a fabric and I'm not sure what to make, sometimes I search for that fabric and see what comes up. So I might search for double gauze and see what comes up. Let me know down below if you've got any suggestions on what to turn this into, but maybe some trousers. That's what I'm leaning towards. I'm not 100% sure yet. Or I have got the, um, so the Byhan London released a mini collection of their adult dresses. It's the mini Hannah, mini Anna, and the mini flora. So I could use this to make a dress for one of my girls. They might like that. I pattern tested the mini Hannah for Ruby and Lola and they both love swishing around in their dresses. So this actually, I would have enough, I think, possibly, oh, I don't know actually, I might have enough to make them both something that's matching out of this fabric if I don't see myself wearing it. We'll see. Let me know down below. I keep saying that if you've got any ideas of what to turn this into but it's lovely and it's just really cozy um, and a lovely autumnal color. So before I go, I thought I would share a little bit of what I am busy sewing at the moment. So I haven't published my October sewing plans yet, but this is a sneak peek into what I'm currently sewing. Um, and I'm all about cozy at the moment. So I got this lovely fabric um, from Simi Sunshine. It's this beautiful dusky pink and it's like a, um, sort of sheepskin coating type fabric. I can't remember exactly what it's called. I'll flash it across so you, you know what it's called. It's beautiful and it's so soft and snuggly and I just want to wrap myself in it. So that is exactly what I'm gonna do with it, not just wrap myself in it and go to work. But I saw on Instagram, I've been looking for coat ideas, which are like a coatigan, and I saw this pattern, Sew Me Something Bianca 
um, and it is a loose fit cootigan with a dropped shoulder line to add ease and comfort and the sleeves can turn back for a bit of a casual feel. It's got a square edge shawl collar which drapes into like a waterfall front or you can wrap it around yourself. So I'm going to turn this fabric into this and just wear it all the time when I go to work and I think it'll be super snuggly and warm and just really cozy especially when I'm outside with the little ones when they're playing. It was freezing at work today so I definitely need something like you know a secret snuggly you know not secret pajamas but a secret snuggly blanket which I could just wear under my raincoat and stay really cozy and warm. So that's what I'm planning to do with that. And then the other thing that I'm working on is I've got some um, dead stock crepe fabric from Simi Sunshine. And I've recently seen this on Rainbow Fabrics website as well. Uh, it's beautiful dead stock crepe. It's got this gorgeous like emerald green background with these black flowers. So I'm turning it into, and it's almost finished, um, the Tilly and the Buttons Lotta dress. And I'm doing the midi dress version um with just the grown on sleeve i'm not adding the bracelet sleeve now the reason i'm showing you this it's nearly finished and when i've tried it on so i've attached the bodice and the skirt uh, i've done the facing but when i've tried it on it's really static against my skin so it really sticks to my legs it's not doing it now but it's really static it's got a lovely amount of drape and movement but when i tried it on it was really sticking to my legs and i didn't have tights on at the time and I'm planning to wear this to work with tights. And now I'm really worried that it's just going to stick to me. Um, so the reason I'm showing you is because I would, I'm always asking for advice on this channel. But if anyone's got any top tips to stop um, a crepe from sticking, you can hear that static in it. It's pre-washed. I've pre-washed it on a normal cycle like I would with all my clothes. Um, but yeah, if you've got any ideas, because I'm worried now that I'm not going to be able to wear it because it will really annoy me if it sticks to my legs. Um, so please let me know in the comments below if you've got any top tips on how to stop fabric from sticking to your legs. Because um, I love the fabric and I think it's going to make a really swishy version of the Lotta. But I'm just a bit worried about it sticking to my legs because it's really staticky. Um, so I would really welcome some top tips. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to turn the fabric into. But I've got a few ideas. It might be something for me, but it might be turned into something for my girls. Um, I love doing these unboxings. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any tips for how to stop this fabric from sticking, please let me know. And if you've got any suggestions for what I should turn this into, let me know also down below. And I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye.